Hello, on this video, I will show you how to deploy a VM using the R template in Azure. So right now, I just log into my uh, Azure portal. That's the, uh, I just get the free edition for 30 days, so everyone can do it the same. Uh, okay, I create my resource group and one test VM. Uh, we just using for this as the, the test uh, resource group, yeah? Select the template and found template deployment. Yeah? That's what we need to find out right now. Okay, create the Windows virtual machine. That's what this option we will use it just for this test, test for this testing. Yeah? Open the browser, yeah. Right now you cannot see nothing. This is the basic, you can just uh, purchase the new virtual machine using this basic template. Uh, but if you would like to custom one, custom it, uh, you can just edit the template and add specific, for example, settings. Uh, we will add some, uh, for example, tagging. Yeah? Tag. As you can see, there is no tagging right now in, in this uh, basic template, so we can just edit template. Go for the quick, as you can see, that's the JSON. Yeah? That's the JSON script. Uh, you can, I'm not the best with the programming, but uh, the JSON in this is really, it looks really friendly, I would say, uh, than other programming uh, language. So I think it's, it's nice to get this uh, basic knowledge, how to use it, how to change its parameters and stuff like that, yeah? So right now we're just adding the uh, uh, tags. Quick start template, just, just go for it and find tags. This is one of the options, so 101 VM tags, yeah? And just oh, press OK. Right now, when we just scroll it down, you can see some department name, application create by that. That will be the some extra setting adding to the previous page. Uh, but we, but we would like to modify it. Let's server name for example Azure one to free test yeah and the same we can add okay I think that will be it so just save um, on the resource group, just, just pick it up the one which you was created because you need some resource group which is associated to a specific location or region. Uh, I just call it simply Azure user, yeah, it's up to you. Uh, the next slide. And it's like, let me check which, how I named VM, because normally I use the really similar name for the uh, DNS prefix. So that's my, that's my VM name. So I will call it the same with IP on the end. For the... And that's our tax, yeah, which we added previously as an extra settings. So, so this is ours. Let's go finance up. My name is Stefan, whatever, yeah, Stefan P. For example, if you have a production environment, it's easy to manage, easy to find out who created, who did it, or maybe who messed up or something. Uh, for my for my VM site, I use D2S V3 just because I don't know why, but I'm just allowed to create this kind of the, uh, VM sites on my uh, on my resource group. Okay, so I hope that will be it. You can just go and set it. Just I hope that will work. 
Okay, it's not. Okay, try to use small letters. Uh, I got that before. Maybe that will work. Yes. So make sure on the DNS graphics, you just use small letters. Yeah. I got the uh, issue with that before. Okay, I will pause the video because that could take, uh, I don't know, two or three minutes. Yeah. I'll be come back it's in a second. Okay, so VM is deployed right now. Uh, if you would like to test, just go for the, uh, click the VM name. Then you can just go for connect, RDP, and you can download RDP file. Just go for here. As you can see, just the server is working right now, yeah? Azure one to free test IPs. That's your DNS topic. So, thanks for watching. Ah, we need to check one more thing because we, we set up, uh, we set up the tags, specific tags for the uh, server. So as you can see for the application it was find them apps, created by Stefan and Department Finance. So all the tags are set up correctly, which is which is which is good. Thanks for watching. Just uh, wait for the next video. I hope you like it. Just comment if, if you if you want to. Thank you.